Let's move on to our fourth main topic today. Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? This is from Thomas Patterson. Hey, John. It appears that Kevin Feige is getting a promotion even sooner than we thought. Apparently, it's actually within Marvel, though. He's now going to be overseeing not just movies, but all television, animation, and publishing. What do you think about this news? Do you think there'll be more synergy between TV and movies? I don't know. Do you think Kevin Feige can bring synergy to this? Well, what's funny is that this was this kind of came up just as we were ending the John Campy show yesterday. And I took so while do I didn't research, I just while doing the show live, I just looked at the headlines and I said, okay, well, he's still gonna be he's already only Kevin Feige only reports to Alan Horn. That's it. And with this new position, he's been promoted to the rank of CCO, the Chief Creative Officer of Marvel. I said he's still just direct, uh, completely uh, reporting to Alan Horn. So, okay, it looks like it's just a title change. No big deal. But afterwards, I started looking more into it. And it is more than just a little bit of a title change. This comes from IGN, who explained it as thus. Uh, this means, this new promotion to COO and the new responsibilities Kevin Feige has, this means Feige will now oversee the creative storytelling directions of not just the movies, but all television, animation, and publishing efforts of Marvel. Everything that's under that Marvel banner that's telling a story, that story now goes through Kevin Feige. Whereas before, it was just the movies, which was obviously the most important piece of the puzzle, but now all storytelling in the Marvel Kingdom will run through Kevin Feige. Marvel TV and Marvel Family Entertainment, which produces Marvel's live action and animated TV shows, respectively, are being moved under the Marvel Studios banner. That, of course, the description is coming to us from IGN. So what we are looking at here is something that is far more significant than what I thought it just looked like on the surface when I just looked at the headline. Oh, he used to report to Alan Horn. He still is. It's just a title change. No, this is significant. And this is a significant move for him because when you're talking about you know, one of the reasons that, you know, all the Netflix stuff was never connected really in any real way to the MCU is because Kevin Feige didn't have purview over it. Kevin Feige was never going to acknowledge any of the Netflix series. He was never going to do it because he he didn't want to show a connection and then have the guys over at the Netflix series make a decision that impacted his MCU. He was never going to allow it. You got things like Runaways. You got things like Cloak and Dagger. You got things like we got other things coming up now. It's all going to be run through Kevin Feige. I think this is dangerous. I think this is dangerous. While everybody else is jumping up and down and going, what a glorious day for the kingdom of Marvel. While everybody else is really excited about it, I, I'm thinking a little bit more practically. When your cup is filled to the top, you can't add more liquid to it. You can take another jug and pour more liquid into it, but the only way that liquid gets in is if other stuff gets displaced, if other liquid gets poured out and can't fill it any and can't hold it anymore. Kevin Feige is a guy who is running at 100% capacity right now. Once a human being is running at 100% capacity, there's nothing else he can do. The only way he can do more is if you displace the liquid that's already there. And that's where I get a little bit worried about this because there is no way <clears throat> in an MCU that now has 10 projects coming out a year almost, eight projects next year alone, that he's already at 100 capacity. There is no way that Kevin Feige can be as involved and have as much oversight and much control over all those projects while adding another entire full-time workload to that. That means some of the stuff that Feige does now, he's got to give up. And I don't want to be the party pooper, but I'm totally comfortable in the role. I don't want to be the party pooper, but if you were to ask me, do I want Kevin Feige having more creative influence and having more of a guiding hand over what's going on in the MCU 
or do I want him to give up some of that so he can have some more say in the comics and some of the stuff that's going on TV? I'm like, listen, that's great, but the movies is the most important part. The MCU is the most important part. I want his attention staying there until he moves on and takes over Alan Horn's job eventually, which eventually he will do, I believe. So while everybody else is saying this is a great thing, I don't want to be Chicken Little saying the sky is falling. I'm not so sure this is a great thing. Maybe Kevin's happy and that's great, but I want his attention where it has been. I don't know that I care that his attention is on the comic books themselves or anything else like that. Let a comic guy have direct oversight, which he will, and now that comic guy will report to him. But still, I, I'm not as thrilled about this, Rob. It, it honestly makes me a little bit nervous, and I hope that it works out great. But to be frank, I'm a little bit nervous right now. You see all this coming together right now. What do you think about it? Well, I mean, like you just touched upon, he's going to have a team. You know, it's <laughs> not like Kevin Feige has to do all this by himself. You know, the even but the, the MC- bigger team, the more diluted your direct involvement becomes. Well, it's true, but unless you have a core team of people, it really depends on how you're working your team. I mean, I see Kevin Feige as, you know, he's the Bill Belichick of, of, of Marvel. I can't believe I just used a Patriots reference. But Well done, sir. Well uh, done. You know, I, I, I just want to say yeah. that, that he's going to have a, a great team of people. I mean... Look, we're seeing things in Marvel Publishing. What Hickman has done with the X-Men has has created more excitement, I think, at Marvel than anything that I've I've read about. At least maybe I should I'll make it me for me personally, it has. What the the twelve issue run of 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 House of X and Powers of Ten has been an amazing an amazing 12 issue run of X-Men that has completely reinvigorated a franchise. I, I loved so much and lost interest in. Now I'm locked back into the X-Men all because of 12 issues of a comic book. Now, if if Feige can t- continue that and using those people, and, and I think it's going to be great. And look, remember, you know, it's not like he has to spend 36 hours in a 24-hour day doing all this. If you know how to delegate and use your people correctly, and that's what a great producer does, I think he can make it work. If anybody can, it's going to be him. If anybody can, it's, I, again, delegating is important, all that kind of stuff. I just... With the amount of one-to-one attention that Kevin Feige, and I believe me, I believe the main reason the MCU is where it is is because of that direct, more dedicated attention that Kevin Feige has given to this universe. It just makes me a little bit worried. And I'm not saying it's not going to work. Let me be clear. I'm not saying this isn't going to work. This can't pop. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying as a fan, it makes me a little bit nervous. It's a little bit nervous. We don't like change. I mean, <laughs> I so I'm a little bit nervous about it. If anybody can do it, it's going to be Kevin Feige. Look, having said all the potential downside, there is also really big, big, big potential upside. You're talking now about a a Marvel company, a Marvel kingdom, if you will, where you theoretically could actually start having streamlined stories from the printed page to the small screen to the big screen. You're talking about the potential to do something now that has never been done before. So while I'm worried about the worst case scenario, I also want to point out that there is a lot of potential upside to this too. If this works, you could be breaking bold, bold new ground and it's giving giving Kevin Feige a little bit more of a taste of broader responsibilities. Again, all for what I believe is the inevitable day in a couple of years when he steps up to take over Alan Horn's job. So there's no doubt there's potential. I'm just a little bit worried. That's all. Maybe I have nothing to worry about. Guys, what do you think? Am I worried about nothing? Is it all sunshine and rainbows and upside? Or do you see their potential downfalls? But do you also see the potential upside? It's a bold move. It's a risky move. But with great risk comes possible great rewards. What do you guys think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.